Hello and welcome to Experimental Guitar Orchestration. Today we will be going through a lesson analyzing the song Now on my journey I'm walking strong from to this point a one-man band I have created called Earthstone and Night Sky. Our first section consists of five guitars one left, one right, one in the middle and two melodies, one left and one right. Our measure is three quarters and our tempo is 121 BPM. Now let's listen to the whole section with metronome. Let's do this one more time. Let's break down the phrases of the left guitar. We begin on the A string, playing fret 9, then descend on the D string and play frets 11, 7 and 9, then 7 and 11. Next step. So we play on the D string 7, 6, 7, 6, and all the rest notes are palm muted, which are 9 on the A, 6 on the D, 7 on the A. Moving on to the next part of the phrase. We begin again on the A string and play fret 9, then descend again on the D string and play 11, 7 and 9, and then 7, 6, 7, 6. And the phrase ends so.
We play first on the D string 6, 7, 6, and then the palm muted shape 9 on the A, 6 on the D, 7 again on the A. All palm muted. <laughs> In the song structure, phrase one of the left guitar will be repeated one time, which will be accompanied by two melodies. After this, we reach the cadence. Its first part is this. <laughs> We begin on the A string, playing fret 4, descend on the D string, playing fret 7 and 4. We go down on the G string and play frets 6 and 4, and then ascend again on the D string and play fret 7, palm muted, and then fret 4. Ascend again on the A string and finish on fret 4. Let's study this again. The second part of the cadence is this. We begin on the D string and play 4, 2, 4, ascend on the A string and play fret 4. Descend on the D string, play 7, 8. Descend on the G string, play 7. On the D string, there is an option to play 7 and 8 with your pinky and reach string G with your ring finger. <laughs> This concludes our left guitar. The whole thing now should sound like this, with metronome and without. Let's go on now to our right guitar.
7 on the A string and on the D string frets 9 and 7. <laughs> This two times. In this phrase, we are careful not to slide back to 9 from 11. But there is also the option that we use the phrase with a slide back, which will be explained later. First execution with no slide back. We can do this in the manner of a rapid movement returning back to 9 like so. Then we slide back to 7. Second execution with the slide back. And then return back to 7. On to our next phrase now. Begin on the G string, playing 6, 7, 6, ascend to the D string, playing 9, 7, 6, 7, 6. Frets 9, 7, 6 and 7 on the D string are palm muted. The last note on fret 6 is not. The last part of this phrase continues first on the D string with a hammer on on fret 9 from fret 6 that we landed on on the previous phrase and up to the A string we play the 7th fret. Here we have to be very careful on the hammer on on fret 9 because it happens on an upbeat and we are looking for this result. <laughs>
Next step. We make a slide from fret 9 on the D string to fret 11, then pick fret 9 again and come up to the A string to pick fret 9. I use my middle finger to do the slide and then pick fret 9 with the index finger and finally come up to the A string with a ring. This way I don't have to bar with my index finger to play fret 9 on the D string and then play fret 9 on the A string above. Next step. <laughs> Frets 11 and 12 on the D string and come up to the A string and play fret 9, then frets 11 and 12 palm muted and land on the 9th fret of the A string. fret 4 on the A string and on the G string play fret 6 which is its octave, play fret 4 on the D string and fret 7 on the A string, then on the D string fret 4 and on the D string fret 8. This concludes our phrases for the right guitar. Right guitar should now sound like this, with metronome and without. Let's examine the melodies now, starting with the left guitar. On the G string play fret 6, 2 and 2. On the B string play fret 7 and 9. Stay 3 quarters on the 9, come back to 7, stay 3 quarters on the 7 and on the G string above play frets 9, 6 and 6. The last 6 lasts for 5 quarters. <laughs> On the G string make a slide from fret 6 to fret 9 and stay there for 3 quarters. Then hit another 2 times fret 9, each one lasting 3 quarters. <laughs> Time the melody. 
of the left guitar is this. Let's look at the melody played by the right guitar. Play fret 7 on the D string, 6 on the G, 9 on the B string, play 9, 9 on the high e string, last note lasts for 2 quarters, play fret 10 on the B string, stay 3 quarters there, play fret 9, 9 on the B string, and be careful because it's 16th values and one of them is before the next beat so the whole sound is faster they are not 8th values then play fret 5 on the B string and fret 7 on the high E string <laughs> Next step. After landing on fret 7 on the high E string where we stay for 2 quarters, we play fret 10 on the B string, stay 3 quarters there, play fret 10 again on the B, stay 3 quarters there, pick and slide from fret 10 on the B to fret 14, then pick fret 14, stay for 3 quarters there, slide back without picking to fret 9, then pick fret 9 and stay 3 quarters there. Let's examine how these two guitars sound together at normal speed. No other guitars played. We can hear also how the sound is shaped due to the different durations of each melody. Let's take a look at the center guitar. On the A string, play fret 4, stay 3 quarters there, slide up to 7, stay 3 quarters there, play 7 again, stay 3 quarters there, slide up to 9, stay 3 quarters there, slide back to 5, stay 6 quarters there, slide up to 7, stay 3 quarters there, slide back to 4, stay 3 quarters there. Notice how the upward slides are fast while the backward slides are slow and gradual. Next step.
on the A string, play fret 9, stay 2 quarters there, fret 4, 1 quarter, fret 7, 3 quarters, fret 5, 3 quarters, fret 4, 2 quarters, open A string, 1 quarter, fret 2, 3 quarters, and then frets 4, 5, and 7, 3 quarters each, finishing on fret 4, 5 quarters. Let's listen to the center guitar along with the left guitar. We notice that the center guitar finishes before the left guitar, thus creating a certain feeling. Let's add now the right guitar. accompanies the left guitar after the center guitar finishes. Let's listen to this one more time. Adding the melodies, the song takes its final form. Once more without the metronome. Additionally, let's listen at the left melody and the center guitar. Now right melody and center guitar. Now both melodies with the center guitar. <laughs> 